I for today's teardown down this the famous SEM25 antenna tuner. So it is an antenna tuner for the German military radio SEM25, very big radio. I had one at the time but I did sell it sadly. And this is just the antenna tuner box. So I already have a video on my channel about this device but it is an old video of bad quality and really it needs a better tear down in high resolution. So uh, these boxes were made in enormous quantities thanks to the German taxpayers and they are still available on eBay for little money, something between 20 and 50 euros usually. So if you want one, you will be able to find one quite easily. Just by searching for uh, SEM25 uh, antenna tuner or this in German. So it is the antenna tuner obviously. You have a little window here that will uh, show you the selected frequency. It is a motor driven. And you have behind these two covers uh, screws you need to adjust with a special tool to tune a capacitor and inductor to find the sweet spot for the perfect antenna tuning to the uh, frequency you have here. It looks like this one is almost a new old stock because this is not uh, filled and it looks like the uh, attachment points here were never used. So it is controlled uh, by uh, not digitally, it is an analog input I believe, servo motor, something like this, on this connector. Here you have two uh, BNCs for the antenna input, but the cap here is very hard to undo, so you know, I will not undo it. And on this side you have a ground terminal and the antenna quick release connector. And apart from this, just uh, very heavy, I believe it is more than 2 kilos, um, olive green box. So I will now undo the cover. So as usual on this kind of stuff we have captive screws for the cover. Very nice quality. It is amazing how many of these things they did make. Mine is serial number 37258. Yes. It is just insane. So, here is what we have inside. First the cover has its own uh, serial number and um, label inside because it, is, uh, it was available as a spare part probably made by Telefunken, you can see here the old uh, Telefunken logo some quality control stamps so here is the first view inside so on this disc you have all the screws you will adjust up and down that will act onto the uh, capacitor and inductor when they are in the in this position. So they are self uh, locking screw. They will not turn by themselves obviously. There is some kind of uh, something to prevent it here uh, plastic thread it seems. So you really need the special tool to turn them. You can see they are at different uh, levels of course because it was probably uh, Initially uh, factory tuned. Here you have some uh, high power devices going to the antenna. And here are actually located the capacitor and inductor. We will have a look at it later. Do not mind the unsoldered wires here. I did uh, unsolder them in preparation for the teardown. And on this side you can see we have electronics. We have a whole bunch of relays and the mystery shielded boxes. So I will undo this uh, wall module. As you can see, a very serious construction here. 
extremely expensive device probably back in the time so with uh, this kind of equipment here you have screws with a red ring around them it means it is a screw you have to undo sometimes the red ring is uh, directly on the screw it is the case if I remember correctly on the radio itself which is still available also on eBay you can get it for around 200 euros plus shipping for 35 kilos yay it is really sad that it sell mine because it should have been a wonderful tear down okay so three screws are off I should be able to just to lift the device there is a connector here and here we are so first the bottom of the case you can see again a part number for the GEOS, GEOS antenna abstinung abstimgerat excuse me for my really bad German we have again one relay here that is it seems the main uh, antenna switching relay or not there is a capacitor here not sure what it will switch actually made by Aller company and you can see all the wires are clamped here at the bottom of the box with even the number of the wire harness engraved in the metal here and here is the connector to the module and you can see here the thickness maybe 5 millimeters of the aluminium really really impressive so what do we have in here I will first show you the whole thing some control electronics for the servo motor most probably again here and on this side the business end with your variable inductor and capacitor air capacitor so you can see in fact we have yes here you will see just here this uh, pin will be pushed in and out by the screw when it turns and it will define the uh, height of the thing so I am not sure of what happens if you have a big level difference between uh, two screws will it uh, get stuck or something because it is pre included so probably they did do something about it and yes I guess it is one of the motors back in here so you can see the uh, two inductors here and this is obviously uh, these two cylinders must make some kind of uh, air capacitor variable capacitor that is also spring loaded and uh, connected to a pin back there but we cannot really see this one it seems so we have the mechanics it is all for this side except for this uh, ceramics plate with air mounted uh, components no adductors some kind of a switch here it seems and a few uh, diode capacitors and so on so first we will have a look at the electronics here you can see very nice uh, quality with conformal coating that is acted at the same time as the glue for the components and here the capacitors are even tied to the board little trimmers uh, obviously very high quality capacitors by uh, Aero brand the regular German brand of capacitors we have more electronics here this one for some reason seems a little bit weird the uh, plastic outside is a little bit uh, damaged for some uh, we have uh, some kind of a little transformer here in a ferrite 
Uh, diode, resistor for some reason. A little plate here which uh, seems to have no purpose. More trimmers, the main connector to the device. Uh, there is a module here, we can barely guess the schematic here of a uh, transformer. And yes, surely enough here it is written, transformer 2 with a pinout. So I do not know the uh, power supply requirement for this thing, but it looks like we have a pretty serious uh, transformer. And you can see there is another board here at the back, but it is almost impossible to reach it. By the looks of it, we mainly have capacitors and resistors on it. So now for the main, uh, most important part, the mechanics. We have one motor here by... Uh, oh, this one will be easier to read. It is written Muir Ed. Vactric band by Beckenham. Can you see it here? So obviously there is one motor to uh, drive out of the way the pins when the thing is turning. With thanks to these uh, levers here and cams probably. So it will uh, completely uh, move down the pin you have. Uh, here. So the uh, ring here, the disc will be able to turn and uh, if there is a differ big difference between two screws, it will not jam. And we have obviously one other motor to turn this assembly in position with uh, feedback. So probably this potentiometer here, so it makes some kind of a servo motor. Here, we, for this motor, we have a feedback with a wafer switch, obviously, this one. But everything is pretty much stuck in place, and nothing moves. Or there is some kind of an interlock. Yes, actually, look here, we have a solenoid. That... It's supposed to uh, unlock the cam here, but I cannot drive it far enough to uh, unlock it. So I wonder if there is uh, another interlock of a solenoid actuated by uh, this motor. This motor needs to be uh, powered to uh, unlock this solenoid that will get powered and unlock this part here. We have some uh, micro switches here for feedback, obviously. You can see the very nice wiring work on this thing. Pretty amazing. Diecast uh, structure here. And really, really a nice piece of kit. So I have one. I, there is another one on the French eBay for 30 euros with two other boxes, two other things. So I may consider getting a second one. Yes, I know it is completely crazy, but on the just notice here we have a missing screw. Uh, quite weird. So yes, I need to get a second one for this missing screw to repair this one. It is really, really important. Okay, and here uh, some relays, um, regular military shielded relays. Okay, so this is an uh, extremely expensive piece of military radio equipment. But uh, get one on eBay while they, they are available if you want it, because they are uh, really affordable and uh, really nice little device and also not too big for a collection not too space consuming a lot less than the wall radio at least okay i guess it will be all for this thing so uh, thanks for watching no, no, 
Do not forget to subscribe, share and check my more than 1000 other videos. Bye bye.